As the documentary Francesco premiered at the Rome Film Festival, Pope Francis instantly began making international headlines after the film revealed his endorsement of same-sex civil unions, a first for a sitting pope. This represents a, a, an earthquake, a dramatic move over the last, let's say, 20 to 25 years. Charles Reed is a professor at St. Thomas specializing in canon law, which is made and enforced by the Roman Catholic Church. He says one quote from Pope Francis in the documentary stands out. Homosexual people have the right to be in a family. They are children of God, Francis said. You can't kick someone out of a family nor make their life miserable for this. What we have to have is a civil union law. That way, they are legally covered. The number one is the urgency of this. When he says we have to do this, that adds an element of urgency. And secondly, he is talking about um, rights. And rights are things that belong to us, legal rights, legal events that we can claim, lay claim to. These statements represent the significant shift in tone and immediacy and urgency and uh, raising the bar, raising the level of, of what our expectation should be. But Professor Reed says because the comments came in a documentary, don't expect to see the Catholic Church to formally follow suit anytime soon. It's not a shift in teaching because of the way in which it's been spoken. The mode of speech was very carefully chosen as a way of signaling that we're, hey, I'm not really changing church. Television documentary is not formal church teaching. So how should a Catholic absorb this? I think it's a call to Catholics to shape their hearts and minds in a certain way, to be welcoming, to be open. I think the Catholic Church should and eventually will move toward a generalized acceptance of, of same-sex unions. But that's a long process. This, this does not do that. Do you think it's he's trying to open the door to that process well, absolutely this is this is the beginning of, of what the pope would call dialogue and you begin dialogue by saying something controversial you put it out there and you hope people respond professor reed says conservatives in the church are already pushing back and demanding clarification but he says more and more have begun welcoming same-sex couples even if formal doctrine has yet to move it's historically Practice moves first. Practicing Catholics uh, are in same-sex unions, go to church, receive the sacraments, and this is done in practice in, in the, the number of parishes and the number of dioceses. And the Pope is, is saying, well, it's all right by me if we see this movement on the ground. Now, because these comments came in a documentary, there is some question about when exactly the Pope made these comments and exactly what he meant. And as I mentioned, Jana, there are some on the conservative side of the Catholic Church that really want to have some of this clarification because they say it clearly contradicts what their doctrine is. Of course, that appears to be the, that kind of conversation that the Pope wants to start having. Yeah, and that will be interesting to see how that unpacks, especially outside of the U.S., because it's not like people really ask questions of the Pope or demand the Pope say something. So that'll be interesting to watch. And doctrine or not, Kent, the comments were about civil unions for same-sex couples. Did the Pope draw a line or say anything about same-sex marriage? Well, he has drawn a line in this in the past. In fact, one of the first times uh, that he went on record before he was pope talking about same-sex civil unions it was actually in drawing a line between that and same-sex marriage which is something that he opposed and it does appear that because the doctrine is still against that and says that marriage traditional marriage at least uh, according to the catholic church is between a man and a woman it doesn't seem as though he is wavering from that point jana all right thanks kent